Hello everyone. Uh, for this interview, I invited a Filipino fashion designer who is based in New York. Please welcome Bessie Desana. Hi, Bessie. Hi, Tito Kata. Good day. Of course. Good day from the Philippines. <laughs> yes, from the Philippines. Oo, oh, paalis ka palang papuntang New York. Eh. Sinamantala ko na habang nandito ka. <laughs> diba? Anyway, Same time zone. <laughs> Bessie, nagsimula ka sa corporate world. Diba? Um, pwedeng pakikwento naman yung experience mo. Hi. Uh, when you were still in in a regular 9 to 5 job tapos what was your typical day pa paano typical day my corporate so i i graduated with a degree in engineering so naggamit ko po siya nung sa nag-apply ako ng trabaho so i was actually uh, working in the facilities management uh, business um in real estate so Typically, I will wake up a little bit early kasi I have to go to Makati where my office is and medyo traffic so kailangan na talagang i-plan ko yung day ko. And then, you know, um, it will start usually at 9.30 it will end like 5.30 or 6 o'clock and then from that point on, uh, madalas akong tumambay after ng, um, ng work. So I will always go to Glorieta or I will always go to um, Greenbelt area, kung saan ko naman nakakasama yung mga ibang uh, friends ko, like sila VJ, na mm, after their work, nakita naman kami sa area na yun. So, that's usually my typical work day during the time that I was still in corporate. Matanong ko lang, I mean, not no offense meant, ha, lalo yung mga nag-9 to 5 siya, na-bored ka ba? Actually, Tito Katano, hindi ako bored that time kasi, um, fortunately, by the job that I got, Um, dictates me to be more dynamic. So, uh-huh. hindi siya repetitive yung ginagawa ko. I actually manage a lot of projects and the project has a start date and an end date. So, after one project, I will close it out and then I will move on to the next project. So, for me, it was nice kasi I get to start something and end something and then do something else the next project. So, I think sa akin, hindi siya boring and I actually made it um challenging for myself too. And I was very grateful because during my time in corporate, Um, people recognize or the management recognize my efforts as a good player, team player. 
year after year, I will always get a lot of good feedback from my customers and from my clients in 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 the corporate industry. And within a span of three years, when I was 25, I was um promoted as the youngest manager of the whole company. Oh, nga. And that, oh, nga. Alam ko yan. that really entailed me to do more jobs. And at age 27, I was already working internationally as a regional manager. So, oh. bata ako nung nagsimula ako. And I'm grateful for those opportunities because it actually helped me uh, build the the experience and then the skill set that I was able to use with my own business. Pero best, biglang nagising ka na lang isang araw, nag-resign ka at pumasok ka sa isang model, a fashion school, a fashion design school. Ano yung nag-trigger? Bakit nagkaroon ng sudden change of career pa? When I was in corporate Tito Kata, I always thought about doing business because um you know in corporate of course you have a salary and major fixed you own but in mm-hmm. when you do business there's an opportunity for you to be able to grow and the reason why i know you is because when i was young when i was 20 21 i always would vi- volunteer for philippine fashion week and i saw that that's something that, or that's a field that i want to get into at some point and although hindi ko alam kung paano but when i was 30 i got the courage to actually try it out. Sabi ko, if not now, when? Diba? Sabi nga ni Arbony. Sabi niya, para, if not now, when? So when I was 30, I was like, okay, this is the time. Like, I will try fashion. Um, I was actually already living abroad that time. I was living in Hong Kong. But oh, I realized oh, yes. that, I, I, was, I realized that um, I have to at least try it so that I don't have any regrets. Kasi the worst thing that, in my mind, the worst thing that could happen to one person is to regret that you didn't try something. So I went back to the Philippines, enrolled in Slim's Fashion Art School, and then that's where it, my whole fashion career really started. Besi, meron ka bang tinitinga lang fashion personality? Dito, designer, or modelo, or beauty queen? Or, meron ka bang tinitinga lang na magandang ejemplo para sa'yo? Siguro, Tito Kata, the reason why I actually went to Slim's is because I've always been a fan of Michael Cinco. Mm-hmm. Para when I got to know who he was in 2009, like parang yun yung first time na nakita ko yung gown niya. Sabi ko, wow, ang ganda. So, inalam ko actually kung saan siya nag-aral. Kaya ako napunta ng slips. And I am very fortunate that there are opportunities na nakilala ko si Michael personally. And I call him now a friend. And um, nung last year nga, nag-hangout pa kami sa New York, nung nag-New mm-hmm. York Fashion Week siya. So, that was so much fun. And I'm very grateful na yung dating titingala ko and nakakapagbigyan sa akin ng advice as a as a younger designer so he would probably the be the first person that talagang that comes into my mind as i grow uh, as i grow with my career uh, syempre nagkaroon ako ng ibang idol diba um i really i really really like Monique Lewillier mm-hmm. because of her aesthetic and because um i also feel that the pathway that she chose is similar to the pathway that i felt that i wanted to take so uh, I'm a fan. I actually uh visited her shops in um LA para makita lang ko ano yung parang mga business ventures niya na from from wedding gowns na punta siya sa dresses, na punta siya sa shoes, sa bags at nag-diversify na talaga siya. So she's actually one of those designers that I really look up to. And of course, Tito Kata, in, sa Pilipinas, hindi ko talaga um makakalimutan yung effort and help din talaga na tinulong sa akin ni DJ Ferres oh, sa kanila Martin Batista. Parang we have a small group coming tatlo. Parang um you know in in our industry there um it's it's very easy to um na magkaroon ng mga kaaway or parang or parang uh-huh. mga people that does not really support you. But yung solid group naming tatlo, talagang lahat si share namin sa isa't isa. Bilang so, magkakaibigan. Uh, oh, so um dati I really look up to DJ kasi syempre um siya yung parang laging nakakasama ko like she will always trust me to be her dresser sa fashion week, ganyan. Yeah. So, learned a lot during that time. And I, I really look up to both of them. And Martin also is on a very um high trajectory with his career. And lagi kong silang parang thankful kasi when I started with my fashion career, talagang nandun sila to help me out. So, I'm very Kasi, si, biglang ano, isang araw din, nagbe-design ka na, di ba? Biglang isang araw, Tinanggap mo na may pagiging general manager ng Miss World of Philippines. Alam kong yes. ano ka, ano, pageant uh, aficionado. 
Bakit tinanggap, bukod sa pagiging pageant aficionado, bakit tinanggap mo yung trabaho yun? Alam mo naman, medyo mahirap din, di ba? Madaming i-deal. So, but nag-design ka? Designer ka na eh. Ano ka na? Graduate ka na um, ng Philippines. I think, Tito Kata, um, as part of Aces and Queens, yung sasabi na na OG na Aces and Queens, we had a very good share of success. So, hmm. meron kami may ganyan, meron kami hmm. Tia Wurzbach, meron din kami kay Versos. Desi, speaking of success, no? oh, nakatulong ka rin sa Aces and Queens, malaking tulong. Pero ipapasok ko ngayon yung ano ba yung ginawa mo? Bakit nag-succeed yung Miss World Philippines during your time? I'm not saying na hindi successful do sa ibang time, no? With due respect to Mama Ru, di ba? And the current one, the current holder of your position. Pero doon umingay eh. Doon nakilala, doon umingay, naging successful ka at that. So ano ba yung ginawa mo? I think um I rose up to the challenge dito kata kasi syempre I know this industry so well. So parang alam ko yung nagde-trigger doon sa mga uh, supporters, sa mga fans, sa mga manonood, saka sa mga girls din, saka sa mga organizers or sa mga sponsors. So um from the get go um nili out talaga namin ni ALV, the current national director of Miss World Philippines that ito yung plans namin and we agreed on it. And we worked hard para ma-achieve yung mga goals na yon. So putting it to Moa Arena, getting the right partners like sponsors, getting the right contestants from different channels and avenues. Um, I think that was the key ingredient to, be, to that made Miss World Philippines successful is the vision. Yun talaga po yung parang reason kung bakit naging successful yung venture namin na yun. And I'm grateful that I also had that opportunity because as a pageant fan, I started as a pageant fan and mm-hmm. then became a mentor. Um, mm-hmm. Parang naging progression po talaga yung mag-work with the national organization and that was a very um enlightening time in my in my life and i actually really learned a lot as well during that time that nagagamit ko pa din nowadays sa buhay ko and i also met so many people during the time with um miss miss world philippines na i also became friends with so i'm very grateful for that time and that opportunity so basically after yung stint mo as general manager, bumalik ka sa pagpa-fashion design. At tapos, nung pandemia, biglang nag-decide ka din na magpunta ng Amerika as a fashion designer. Uh, yes. Bakit nag- yes. in, bakit nag- ano ka? Bakit bumalik ka sa pagiging fashion designer at sa Amerika pa? Actually, Tito Kata, um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably correct that um notion when i did miss world philippines i was still doing fashion in parallel mm-hmm. kasi ang yes. po sa miss world philippines is hindi naman siya in my opinion hindi siya full time job correct so may seasonal kasi siya eh. so mm-hmm. the other time is talaga i still do my i still do my fashion and my career and parang medyo mahirap po siya kasi pinagsasabay mo yung dalawang trabaho but i'm very passionate at both uh jo- both uh jobs so talagang i think i was able to do it naman um Hi. During the pandemic, um, nag-hit po talaga yung nag-hit talaga yung business ko. Kasi syempre, ang ang ina-expertise ko po talaga is formal wear and weddings. And during that time po, wala po talaga nagpapakasal. So it was an eye-opening, eye-opener for me that um there, and unfortunately at that time, wala po as a, as a small business owner, wala po kaming nakuhang um support to be able to support our company then and our our team. Na kahit na po pandemic na, nagpapasweldo pa rin kami ng tao. So I told myself that Okay, I really have to pivot as a as a as a businessman, and I I actually took jobs that are operational, meaning hindi na pusha about fashion. But I was I have experience with that with Miss World with my corporate career, so it was not hard. Pero na nagkaroon pa ako na opportunity to go to the states to get the vaccine. Actually, no. um, I was encouraged. By a of yun lang talaga yung purpose mo noon. Actually, na nado din ng Miss Universe. Yung kay <laughs> Reb, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, so um. Na, na that was time po na um nagkuha kami ng vaccine we have to stay in the US for 5 weeks because of you know we have to get the second dose uh-uh. um my friends encouraged me sabi nila parang uh, uh you've always thought about living in the US like matagal na po 2010 pa lang siguro sinasabi ko na sa sarili ko yan um and why don't i try it this time yun po yung parang naging sinabi na total wala pa naman daw nangyayari sa Pilipinas what's the worst that could happen i get denied parang ganun po um so I called up a lawyer. Actually, same kami ng lawyer ni VJ. Mm-hmm. And tried Magaling. to explore the opportunity. Oh, Magaling oh, yung lawyer. 
PST Plokata and try to explore the opportunities of me coming to the United States on a talent visa. So, nagkataon naman po, um, I met up with, I got the, uh, I got a good lawyer, tapos, she also advised me so well, and, nakuha ko po siya. Actually, this week, Tito Kata, I also already got my green card. What? So, officially, card, that's why you have to leave. Kailangan pa umalis itong coming days, no? Ayun. Opo, and, a couple of days, in a couple of weeks actually, babalik na oh. po ako sa US. Maybe tinatapos lang po ako dito, then babalik na ako sa New York. Uh, Bessie, di ba na ngayon nahanap mo na yung path mo sa career, di ba? Designer ka na sa New York. Tapos, um, uh, ano, bang, ano bang in store para kay Bessie di sana? At kung sakaling uh, bigyan ka ulit ng panibagong, if you're going to go back to your life, tatahakin mo pa rin ba yung ina? Um, what's in store for me is that I'm definitely gonna bring my brand to the US. Yun po talaga yung goal ko, personal goal ko, uh, career aspirations ko na rin po. Um, I really wanna penetrate the bridal market in America. I think that's where my passion lies. And I really want to do well on the, in that aspect. And I'm not sure yet. Ayoko po kasi nagsasalita ng tapos. But eventually, I want to grow that brand to more than just the bridal brand. So, marami po pwedeng opportunities talaga pagdating sa sa brand na yun. And um, the second question was, um, kung babalik, may babalikan po ako sa buhay ko. Actually, napag-isipan ko yung question na yan, Tito Katal, many times. Kasi dati inisip ko, oh, dapat naging designer ako na mas bata ako. Baka mas malayo na yung narating na karyer ko. But, I realized that my experiences in corporate um, contributed a lot to my professional growth as a designer. Because mm. as a designer, marami po nakakakalimot na dapat professional tayo pag nakikipag sa mga kliyente, marunong po tayong gumawa ng mga kontrata, marunong tayong makipag-usap sa kanila. And those are the things that I honed during my corporate career. So I think the, the answer would be, um, I will not change the pathway Uh, but there are, of course, several things that I might want to have done better, I would say. Pero yung pong pinaka-journey ko talaga, own up, I'm owning up to it po talaga. And I really feel that that contributed to the success that I have achieved uh, thus far with my career. Bessie, last, last, ano na lang. Kasi alam ko, busy ka din. Buti ka na, isingit mo ko sa schedule mo. At ako may show din ako later, may rehearsal ako yung nakikita. Oo nga daw po. Pero ano ba ang Bessie Besana fashion? At kung merong mga bata dyan na gusto tumulad sa'yo, anong advice na ibibigay mo sa kanila? Uh, the best of sana fashion really central, is centered towards tailoring. So kahit sabihin po natin gown yan or kahit sabihin po natin suit yan or panlalaki yan, um, yung cutting po talaga ng fabric yung talagang medyo particular I think it's also because of my background in construction. Kasi po yung engineer nga po ako as a civil engineer, tapos mm-hmm. naging fashion designer ako. Kung baga dati, I create or um, offices, parang ganun, binubuo ko sila. Ngayon, damit na yung binubuo ko. So, very, very, ano po ako, very, na-enjoy ko po yung proseso ng pagpa-pattern, yung parang making sure na maganda yung fit sa kliyente. So, I think that really what stands out uh, with what I do every time that I have clients, they keep on coming back because they always say that nakukuha ko talaga yung, yung katawan nila, yung forma nila. So, um, and I will keep on learning so that I could be better also with, uh, be, ano, as the day goes by. Ngayon po sa mga younger people that wants to um, uh, like venture you. in anything in life. Or <laughs> in actually, Bessie, hindi lang fashion designer. Ha? Yung pinagdaanan mo, yung civil engineer ka, pati yung pagiging Oo. manager mo ng Miss World Philippines, di ba? Anong mga advice mo sa mga yan para hindi naman sila nabibigla, di ba? So, um, one of the things, Tito Kata, that I personally realized na meron ako, na hindi ko po na-realize to, ah, until some people pointed it out to me, is that I'm a very courageous person. Hindi po kasi ako matatakoting matalo in life. Mm-hmm. Parang sa akin po, the worst thing that could happen is if I don't try. Parang yun po lagi yung ano ko, question ko sa sarili ko. Saka habang bagets, no? Habang oh, bagets. Oh, oh. Sige lang na yun sige. Po, yun po siguro yung parang um, advice ko to younger people na it will be hard. Sometimes it's painful. But you should have the courage to try. Very important po yun. Kasi at the, at the very least, if it doesn't succeed, if it fails, 
at least you said that, okay, I tried it. It's not for me, but I tried it. Uh, Wala po kayo. Naman. You can move on to the next plan or project or venture po talaga. Ayun, Bessie, maraming salamat. At actually, dapat last week pa ho ito, kaya alam mo naging problema sa schedule, di ba? Kaya ngayon tayo yung pinagdasal ko, sana hindi na magka-problema ng schedule si, si no, Bessie. No, dito kasabing lang ko talaga ito for you. <laughs> hindi, ayun, anyway, then, thank you very much, Bessie. Ito ka, ta, thank you din po. And I really for, want to um thank you also because you're a very big, vital uh part of my life. Alam mo naman kayong mga ining. Remember our Alam ko naman kayo time. mga ining ko noon. Di ba sila po yung mga ining-ining ko na no? sila BJ, yung sila Bessie, si Alex especially. Di ba? Sila oh. Martin, Bautista, sila Jerome Lorico. Of course, I cannot forget that group. Asaya-saya lang natin oh, oh. kumakain sa sa ano ba yun? Saan ba yun? Bessie, sa Cubao? SMX, ganyan. Kasi because of fashion. At <laughs> saka sa Cubao, di ba kumakain tayo sa Chibo ba yun? Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Oo, oh, oh, cafe yan ba yun? Ah, basta, I remember yung doon kung nag-beauty yung Pilipinas na, di ba? Lang tayo nagkikita. Oo, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. And anyway, Because you have friends who joined, right? Of course, si Paulette nandun doon, di ba? Okay. Anyway, thank you, Bessie. And see you when we go there. In Fort yes, Pita. Diba? Pagagawi kami soon. ng New York ulit. Ha? Soon po. Okay, bye.